Hello guys, it's me Zane, and well, you know, it's time for another collection update. Oh. It's the 3rd of September right now, and most probably this video goes up on the next day, maybe? It's September, so it's time for us to look back on the summer and what happened in the summertime, because we have quite a few changes in my collection. We have quite a few stuff happening. So let's check my orchids out. Zane, don't blow up here. Let's check out my orchids. Okay, so as usual, you will see the Zen and Now comparative screen in this corner here, because there's gonna be action going on here. Okay, so let's start off with this Vanda Luzonica. Well, it's growing nicely and well, that's that and my dog wants something. Don't jump on me! Without my dog jumping on me, this is growing nicely, I guess. But well, you know, Calicetums, they grow big leaves. So this is the new growth, which was grown in these three months and I'm grateful, but I will be happy for some blooms. <laughs> in the previous update, I showed you that my ancestral Kylus Rothschildianus is just starting to grow new growth. Well, look at the leaves right now, they are big. I guess it was shocked and the new growth will not have a super big suitable, but still, look at these Look at these gorgeous leaves, which are a bit wrinkly because of dehydration, but still. This is the best what I can get from an ancestral Kylus, like, right now. This is my Miltasia, dark star with a yellowing leaf. It's still attached, so I'm not gonna take it off. I don't know what's the problem of her. I think it is just growing too many new growths at a time, and it, it's not having energy to bloom, or I don't know, it's not blooming for me. I, I'm not sure why, but it's not blooming. Epidendrum, Sudepidendrum, maybe it has Fusarium. If it has Fusarium, I'm gonna be super sad, but this is the new growth. It's growing, but it's super slow. In the last collection update, my Princess Jackie, my Kalea Princess Jackie, which is not a registered name, but the name given by uh, some viewers of this orchid girl it was growing a new growth well the new growth matured and bloomed i mean wow and the smell oh my god i have to smell yeah oh, this is amazing <laughs> okay this is my another white kalea this is a no id hybrid and it's just you know growing because it's in a saving mode and by the way this is the kalea which we like saved together like a really long time ago yeah it, it's growing it's saved it's doing its thing. Rincolelia glaucus. The repot was a shock so the new growths are like super slow. Red epidendrum hybrid. Still in bloom but growing some serious new growths. I mean here is a new growth and it's like already this tall and another new growth is somewhere in the back. That peaking leaf there that is the leaf of the new growth so it's growing. This one is growing. Katrina, what? <laughs> no, not Katrina. It's uh, Oncidium Katrin Zock. It's a prolific bloomer with three flower spikes again, so I'm not complaining about this one. This one had a spider mite covered new growth, my Pupukel Sunset. Well, look at this fabulous new growth. I'm sure I will get a flower spike from this one. I cannot see it yet because I cannot peek into the leaves or between the leaves but, but I'm pretty sure it will bloom for me. This is one of my saving mode on stadiums. Well you know it's growing a new growth so that's great and this one is just doing shit. This one is my splash. Must I red splash something? It's not doing so great. I'm not sure about this one. And why is the street so noisy today? Oh I just love these Princess Jackie blooms. They are so nice and they are so fragrant. Oh the joys of recording a video early. That is my Pleurotholis stricta. Still not blooming. It's just growing. I'm not sure about that plant. Here is my uh, yellow Dendrobium nobili. My dog is just laying around here. <laughs> she doesn't let me feel. Yellow Dendrobium nobili hybrid. Well, I got some off-season blooms again. This one always has some off-season blooms. I'm not sure about this one. And this is the typical white Dendrobium nobili, how it's called, the Spring Dream Apollon. Well, it's growing, you know, it's summertime. It is time for her to grow. This big guy is my Grammatophyllum scriptum with the monstrous root system. I mean, I have a video about that. Let's check it out. I mean, this is serious. 
and it had a new growth in the last update well right now the new growth is like up here so it's growing but I had to train it a little bit so yeah that's what's happening with this one and this is my Lelio Telea I guess Leco Peach Sun I have two more new growths like I said so that's great this is the second blooming this summer so that's really great these new growths here are the new growths of my Dendrobium Spring Dream Apollon. It is growing majestic. I mean, this is a new growth. This is a new growth. It's gonna be fabulous. Trichocentrum Lancianum. And as you can see in the corner on the previous screen thingy, the roots just start to grow in the beginning of the summer. <laughs> right now the roots are basically everywhere. They are so long and they are growing everywhere. No leaves, no new leaves or anything, but roots everywhere. That's that. Lilia purpurata crossbita ibra savolana dosa. Well, it bloomed and it's fragrant and it's super nice. I just love this one. I have to smell it. Oh, I love this. What I love about these, I think I will make a separate video about that. The pattern is not only showing here on the lip, but on the underside. I mean, that's just beautiful. I will talk about this one more in a separate video, but I love it. And look at this tiny growth. This is the growth which produced these two blooms. And these are the other bigger growth. So if it will have more energy, I will get more blooms. Maybe. I, I just guess. <laughs> now, this is the uh, Dendrobium Phalaenopsis hybrid, which I bought because of the really thick <laughs> Canes. Well, this is the new growth. It's growing. It's smaller than the previous one, but it's growing. I have this long cane here, which I'm just okay with that. It could be better, you know, but still, I'm okay with that. Rinko style is Gigantia. In sphagnum moss because I want it to be hydrated, but it's growing super slow. First of all, David Sanders. Well, it started to produce some new growth, which look rather promising i mean look at this new growth the sheet is like up here and this is the leaf only so i hope that the leaf will be longer and i hope that finally it will grow like normal for me not sure about that but it's promising tiny red calea little hazel m sophrolelio calea little hazel m well it bloomed for me and right now it's producing a new growth somewhere in between the boobs i have a confession about my vanda naoki kawamura i converted it into a self-watering system because i thought it's not getting hydrated enough and i also rearranged it in the pot well, it's not doing any better, but it looks more hydrated, so I guess that's good. Neo Phoenicia Falcada. It has a tiny new growth there, a new fan forming, so that's great. <laughs> then here is this Phalaenopsis species, and I cannot remember the name. Mm, something Chatelade. Well, it's growing the new leaves, and the leaves are bigger and bigger, so that's great. These are not orchids, this is a new Hoya. <laughs> this is Begonia from Rachel. This is the Uriconi Galeandre crossed with the oranges. Cochiana. I have more of these and it's growing, you know, it, it didn't bloom this year. But my other one did bloom, so that's great. Here's my booba film Echinolabium. This is one of the new growths and it's looking like a new growth. And this is another new growth, but it looks weird. I'm not saying it's a flower spike because I'm like sure it's not a flower spike, but this new growth looks weird. <laughs> oh my god, the joys of having a cat. I just found a dead mouse in the front of the door. She thinks it's a present that she brings that mouse, you know, so. Okay, so here is my Dendrobium Lindley. Well, it's summer, it's growing, and that's my um, Parafone of this Labocansis in that uh, sphere pot something, and well, it's just growing a new leaf and some roots, so that's great, but I'm really looking forward for some blooms. Here are my Kokodamas. This is my moss Kokodama with the Dendrobium Spring Dream Apollon. The new girls are starting to grow up because I'm too lazy to train them down, but I still like it. And these are the two uh, artificial Kokodamas with the Dendrobium Alphilum, which is doing shit. And the Dendrobium Anosmum, look at the new growth. That's great, that's really great. I hope I can get some blooms. It's still not so long as the other kings, but I'm I'm hopeful. <laughs> this is one of my mounted uh, Fallen Lobsies. Well, it's not doing so great because I was too lazy to water it, but it's gaining her energy back because I, after a time, I started to water regularly. So yeah, the new leaf is going to be bigger, most probably. Here is my another artificial Kokedama plastic thingy with my, uh, with my Seiden Fedenia Michuata in it. It's doing 
great I guess this is my Bulbasaurum Lepidum it's nothing so great but I'm not sure about this one not doing anything it's like it's having a fusarium but except it I hope it doesn't <laughs> and this one is my Bulbophyllum longissimum it's growing rather slowly but it's growing no blooms so far but it's growing and well that's something right and this is a phalaenopsis which is growing out of the side of this pot well it's growing really great because the new leaves are bigger and bigger this is another mounted phalaenopsis and it's not doing so great because you know i was lazy so yeah <laughs> and this is with the messy background because we had some serious thunderstorm yesterday this one is my epidendrum parkinsonianum well it's growing to new growth that long thing there that is one of the new growth so it's growing great my vandas are being soaked right now one of them is my blue vanda which is which bloomed this summer so right now it's growing and the other one is my vanda sanderiana which didn't bloom so far like ever so girl get your shit together <laughs> And my other one does up there, one of them is my Princess Mikasa White, blooming second time this summer, so I'm really proud of her. You're a good girl and please continue to do that like for like a lifelong period of time. That one is my Wanda Hiroshima Choice. Never bloomed, but okay, it bloomed when I received it, but so far no blooms. I'm not sure why, but it's at least it's growing, you know. Here on this table we have a fawn of this, and I will have some other falls. If they are doing something special, I will tell you, but I'm not gonna talk about them because for the fawn of this right now it's growing season. They are growing leaves and roots, so that's not really exciting. Well, this one is growing as well, and this is my Oncidium bartley schwartz. She didn't like the ceramics, so I converted her into this uh, layer of dense sphagnum moss uh, style of keeping. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to gain back the beautiful root system it had, okay? <laughs> you know, falls. Like I said, they are growing. Look at those beautiful root tips. Pathiopadilum, American hybrid. Not doing anything, it's just growing, it looks dehydrated, I know, it's not dehydrated, it's just droopy, not sure why. But this is what it's doing, it's just here, that's that. Saving mode phalaenopsis because I received three phalaenopsis to save from a woman who just throws out falls. So they are growing right now, this one is growing too and I know, don't judge me, the stick is there and the tag is there because I'm experimenting, because I got some droopy leaves and also I'm experimenting with the growth of the stem, so no judging, okay? <laughs> this one is growing, this bloomed in the last collection update, I think you can see it on the screen. This one bloomed, I filmed it and it was a beautiful beach, this is the, the Uricone Galea and Drake Rose, the Erangel Scotiana, it was beautiful, you know what, <laughs> it bloomed and already it has this big huge new leaf so i'm proud of you girl i'm proud of you you're beautiful renantera imshutiana finally this cakey started to grow there it has a crown rot and finally it's doing something and some new roots are growing in the medium that's great princess jackie's seedling which was saved from fusarium with the help of some, some front bulbs growing great this is my dendrobium phalaenopsis compactum or whatever is that the tiny version of the dendrobium phalaenopsis it's a species most probably it finished maturing the new growth so right now it's time for me to wait for some flower spikes to appear phalaenopsis bellina well it had a problem so it grew a really tiny leaf but right now it's growing a rather bigger new leaf so that's great this is my saved from fusarium by the way brassia type and the, this is the new growth which is growing super slowly since it has only one back bulb but you know these are my tolumnias looking fine they are not like wrinkled or anything they are growing some new leaves uh, not leaves leaves too but roots too so yeah catacidum project plant still not doing this fabulous catacidum shit that i expect this is growing tiny tiny growths I mean it's in Calia light and you said it's not getting enough light I mean what you know you guys I'm not gonna show you my phone numbers because basically they are the same they look the same and they do the same they are growing because it's their season so here are some other orchids so let's start with this row in the back I had to put on a layer of wet sphagnum moss my brass 
so not Bressa. Epidendrum Bressa Vole because it's doing rather shit. I'm not sure about that. It's a really climbingy uh, orchid as you can see on the rhizome here and it's not doing great for me. Not sure why. Maybe it has Fusarium, maybe not. I'm not sure about this one. It, I just, I'm start hate her. Really, <laughs> this is one of my saved orchids. It's a dendrobium phanopsis type with a new growth, which is basically huge, as you can see here. And the leaves are still falling out. I'm hoping for a flower spike this year. I'm, I really do because it looks like it will have a flower spike. This is my Lycasti aromatica with some really twisted leaves, but. As you can see there, the new pseudobulb is much bigger than the previous pseudobulb because this pseudobulb is just like this here. But this one is not starting somewhere here, but it's starting down at the base of the previous pseudobulb, down here, so it's rather a longer pseudobulb and I'm really happy for that because finally it's starting to grow bigger growths and well, you know, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> this is my saved Oncidium. Well, the ID for her is still a secret, but not for so long because, as you can see, we have a flower spike here and soon enough we will be able to see the buds forming here at the end of this flower spike. So, I'm so, so curious. I just Cannot wait, I wanna see these blooms. Model leaf puffy petalum, and if you remember, we had a video about that. I re I unpotted it and repotted it in the same medium and stuff because it was needed, and I discovered that I have a huge root. I had to do that again, and I discovered that I have even more huge roots, so <laughs> the root system is fantastic on this one, and the roots are basically pushing out the whole plant from the pot, so that's not the greatest thing, but at least some roots are growing. <laughs> this is my Phanopsis Sogogotris. Like I said, doing the Phanopsis thing. New leaves, new root tips. As you can see here, here's a huge growing root tip, so that's great. Dendrobium Phanopsis type on a layer of wet sphagnum moss because I wanted to save her because it was doing literally nothing. It was just existing for like two years. Right now, well, look at this majestic new growth here. I mean, what is this? Why is this happening? And what do I do right now? <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with this one, when to repot it or something, but you know, it's doing super great. And this is one of my Oncidiums, which are, which I had for a lot of years. And one of the divisions went to Miss Orchid Girl and I was left with two divisions but I had to throw out one because it was doing really bad and finally I have a flower spike so we are on the road to a recovery and these flowers gonna open like in any minute now so I'm looking forward to these blooms because they are super super saturated. Okay guys and these are my two last orchids here. Yurikone Galliandre cross with the uh, oranges Cochiana seedling because I have a ton of these plants. Okay, now this is my third one. This is the last one of them. Well, look at this new leaf. It's growing nicely. I have a rather interesting experience with this one as this leaf was growing I had a period when I wasn't watering my plants for a longer period like more than a week and my plants got dehydrated <laughs> and as this leaf was growing the leaf was still folded together as it didn't have enough pressure to open up and also as it was growing up it was really curved back and it was folded together I watered it and since this leaf was still growing and stuff I I was like holy shit I fucked up the new leaf and it will look like shit for me well look at this it's a straight leaf it's really not curved it's opened up it's folded out I'm I'm really impressed that it changed this much since then so yeah it I was really surprised but by the way, this one is growing really nicely. It is a, it has a new root tip here and some other ones in the medium, so that's great. And this is my fall up this Schilleriana. Look at this majestic bitch. <laughs> the root system is great. I have three root tips which are growing and I know they are growing and I might have some other ones which are inside the medium. And finally, this one is producing a new leaf. 
and this leaf is just so beautiful I mean you can see that it's smaller than the other ones because it's not so wide and stuff you know it has its fair share of uh, shock because it's in a new environment for me since I bought it and it's really slowly bouncing back into health but new leaf new roots can I wish for more well yeah I had a flower spike too so yeah okay so this is my collection update for today and this is what happened in the summertime for me so this was the summer update and yeah if you like this video click on the like button if you disliked it I can I just you know just go on with your life subscribe to this channel subscribe to my other channel follow me on instagram don't forget to click on the bell button so you get notifications every time i post don't forget to leave a comment about anything in my know it all section so we can know that you know something better <laughs> okay so see you next time bye guys